Hey, hey guys, uh, of course, uh, once again, welcome to Forex Network. Uh, we are still on our challenge, on our, fifth, on our uh, $5 to $50 challenge, and of course, $10 to $100 challenge. Actually, today was a very nice day as I gave uh, analysis, and of course, the analysis play out pretty well, and our $5 is currently $24. That's just in two days, and remember, we are going to $50. Okay, so that said, uh, let's go into today's analysis. Remember, we're checking out the US pairs, and of course, I did just the US pair, the pound USD, the Aussie dollar, the uh, Euro USD, the USD card, and other USD pairs. So that's all I did. So what I focus on, and I focus on the US market, the US currency. If the US currency is strong, definitely I expect the other market rewards to be in line with it. If the US is weak, I expect that the market also be able to respect that also. So here is the US, uh, the US index, which is more like the US uh, currency uh, against other currencies. Of course, today we saw a very good bullish trend. Okay, let me show you the trade force we took based on our this first. I think it's somewhere around here. Okay, good. So this was where we started. Uh, okay, let me see if I can get this right here. Uh, I will open the go everyone to okay, good. Okay, yeah, I think I'm close. So, this is where we started earlier this morning. I sent all these analysis. You can see right here, I sent all these analysis. Of course, a lot of people took it. I told them uh, I'll be going long first on the Euro USD, of which we did, and of course, it got to our take profit. And after that, I sent them again about this about gold this for what's it called uh when it was about for time for the news to be released that was when i sent all this one then i told them to buy either gold or EU usd and of course both of them gave us a very good um profit then when it was time for the what's it called for the uh news to be released what i did was i went back to my U to my ux dollar index so I noticed that the market was currently on the support level and I know whenever the market is on support level and they release any, any news, the market is bound to what? To move to the upside. And of course, that's what I anticipated it. You can see that's right here. You can see it right here. You can see it at this level. So this way I anticipate that the US is going to become very strong. And definitely I told them that the CPI news, they should what? On the go, they should I put all the stop loss. You can see them at the entry. I told them to what to sell it. Then I came down here again. I came down here. Sorry, let me use this instead. Oh my goodness, sorry. Let me just go back. Uh, let me move this. Oh shit, I think I've lost that. Okay, no problem, share. So let's go back to today's analysis. So you can see this is exactly what I do in that particular chart. And that's what we can see at this level right here. So now that we're here, what are we expecting next? So let me check for the previous structures. This is the next structure the market is likely to obey. Remember when you're doing your structure, you draw the story that touched your trend line. So this is the next structure that the market is likely to obey. And according the market to obey this structure, that means what the market is likely to what? To go down to the bear side. And of course, if it's going to the downside, that means we are expecting to get to this. It's going to have something like this. They're coming back down to test this previous structure here. Otherwise, if it breaks above this, they were expecting to have a retest of this level and of course that means the us has to continue to be bullish and uh, if the us has to be bullish now let's go to one of the us pair let's choose uh, uh let's just choose my one my favorite the ego you know, i think let me let's go the aussie dollar okay so here's the aussie dollar this was my initial analysis you can see it everything works perfectly just we analyze it initially so we analyzed that this is going to be going to be bullish and of course we had a bullish trend and when it got it we said uh, because of the cpi news we expect a down thing and of course it's all happened and that was where we got our nice nice profit for today so that said uh let's now look at what's going to happen here again of course you can see currently it's on our it's on what's it called on the support level right just the way the dollar index also on the support so the same thing i expect with the dollar index what i'm also going to be expecting for the Aussie dollar remember the dollar index actually called uh what uh, correlates with all these particular pairs 
So if the market happens to give me confirmation of a source of a buy signal or a boost signal and there, then this is gonna be my take profit this previous level. Otherwise, if it goes below this, I wait for a pullback to this level, and of course, if I can get a good continuation, that means the dollar is going to be strong, just as I said earlier. So this also applies to other US pay to it, it applies to the pound USD, applies to the euro USD, and of course the US card, the USD CHF, and of course the US uh, the USD card. The same thing, but just in that in their own case. Okay, let me just let's go to USD card. You can see here now the US is strong, right? So this is similar to that of uh, of the US index itself. So the same analysis I did down here. This was my where I be putting my initial trend line, trying to manage this. So when it's broken to that, the same thing is gonna happen to you here. So instead of looking long for here, looking uh looking for what for long. If this level actually is expected, if this level is expected, I will show the market. Otherwise, if the market happens to break above this level, I wait for a retest to this level. That means it breaks above it. I wait for a retest. Then, of course, if it give me good confirmation, then I go long for the uh, USD card and also the same thing for USD CCF and USD Japanese. Yen. But remember, we are not trading now we have four dollars and we have not asked anyone to increase your lot size but when i tell you we've, we've increased our lot size to 0 0.02 so with that i'm sure with the 24 dollars you can use the 0 0.02 so if you're not part of this particular channel the zero the uh, five dollars to fifty dollars i will leave the link for you to join that particular group it's very very important because in that particular group that's why i give all the signals and everything we need to do to grow your chat to grow your account from five dollars to $50 this same month. So that said, uh, if you have any question, comment, and don't forget if you haven't subscribed to this channel, the subscribe button is right below. So make sure you hit on it and don't forget the bell icon because that's what gets notified. Once we put our next video, we should definitely be tomorrow analyzing the chat again for it to give you the profit trade ending. And of course, don't, don't forget that particular uh What's it called? The particular group. I'll be giving anything that I'll be taking. It'll be dropped there just for just for us to make sure that we grow our account back to that fifty dollars. Probably the way I'm seeing it, it might never up to a month. Probably be in a week or maybe two. We might get to our target. So that said, that's gonna be all for this trade and for this analysis for tonight. So I'm gonna see you tomorrow with another section of analysis. So it's gonna be a good day, and don't forget to check out our other videos for nice and interesting information on the trading markets. So that's going to be all for now. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Okay, so 